So I had a battle with Cruz, who is a fellow YouTuber, and I win the coin flip and going. I'm going first, and he does uh, back openings as well as PTCGO in the expanded format. So he's not really good in standard format, but he plays standard form format uh, from time to time with against me. So we are having three battles and let's see how the battle goes. So as you can see, I have, I'm going first and I have put down Eternatus and I have got Zubat as well in the active position, in the bench position. And I have got another Eternatus on the bench. So I am in a good position against him. He is having Caldeo V in the active position. And he is using crushing hammer and he gets tails. So let's see how the match progresses. As I'm saying that he he is good in expanded format. And this is a standard format match because I play standard format. So that's why he was having a match in the standard format for me. And let's see, let's see, let's see. But he's good either way. So let's see, he's using Red's challenge. So he needs to discard two cards and search his deck for cards. So let's see what he grabs from his deck. We are in a good position. Going first, as I have Eternatus V in the active position, and I don't know what he grabs from the deck. So he says Wave Splash. Okay. So I'm just gonna throw with the switch and grab myself the Crowbat. So let's see what he grabs. Okay. So I have got a turn it as V Max and I'm going to evolve into a turn it as V Max and I put down the Zubat. Let's just add one more Pokemon for safety. Even though I think I'm going to eliminate him. So let's just use Red End and I do the perfect amount of damage that is required so in the first match I get the victory now I'm waiting for the second match against him using the same attendant as deck I was thinking of using Blissiflon but I went ahead with using the attendant as deck again so this time around Cruz is calling the coin flip and he wins the coin flip so sorry I win the coin flip and I want to go first to set up the alternatives so I don't grab any good stuff on my going first this can happen that this deck alternatives V deck but that's how PTCGO works I suppose so he's in a good position he grabs himself Lapras and Frostmoth during his first turn. So I'm going to just attach to Eternatus, the weakness guard energy, and just going to pass. I was thinking of grabbing Cobat, but that's okay. I have good uh, amount of resources in my hand. I've got Marni, I've got Professor's Research. So if I require anything, I can use either of them. And he's going to use Blue's Tactics. Okay, so... So... He grabs the Blue's Tactics. He got gets 8 cards from his hand. So best place to get the Marnie. So I get Returnatus V Max. But... I don't get... The necessary resources that I required. So I'm just going to grow back. Okay, so let's just put down 
quick poll away the research as I was going to do Marni and get a zigzagoon, put down the zigzagoon and ping the Lapras and just Marni to disrupt his hand because it is the better play. He has eight cards in his hand, so it was a better play. From that as well, I don't grab myself energy. So let's just ping again. Grab, I think one more Eternatus to put down on the bench. And let's just pass then. Because if I get the Crobat, then I can put out the Crobat and Crobat has a free retreat. So it is a good thing. So he has got EV. Uh, because he has got Vaporeon GX in his deck. And he Marnies us. That's what I was thinking. So I still get weakness card energy, not the darkness energy. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see how we do. What we are going to do. So he passes. And uh, let's just put down. Let's just grab the great ball. Put bench the Eternatus. Pause the Lapras. Use Crobat. Okay. I do get myself. Switch and Dark Energy so I can use Trident. So that was good for me. And just like that I get two prize cards. And my board state is good. So let's see what he is going to do. He has got two Snom on his bench. So let's see, let's see what he is going to do. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? He attaches to EV because he was thinking he was gonna grab the Porion GX in his turn. But he's gonna boss up my other Eternatus. Okay, so I'm just gonna attach to this Eternatus as I'm just gonna mar me. And with that, I use. Great ball to grab Eternatus because I don't have anything else. So let's just pass. Um, let's see, let's see how things go. I marnied his hand, so he has got a new hand and he attaches to EV because he was thinking that he was gonna get the Porion GX. Um, he uses Ordinary Rod to get back the Lapras V and the 2 water energy from the discard pile. So he uses BD to attach to EV. Okay, so I'm just gonna get myself Coal Bat and I'm gonna draw two more cards. So I'm gonna grab myself Crobat if, because Crobat will help me draw three more cards with drastic draw. Okay, so I'm just gonna boss up the EV and I'm gonna use Trident because I was thinking that he will get necessary cards for the next turn and I get myself Chaotic Sword from that price card and he has got Snom on his bench in an inactive position so he marnies us because he was thinking that he might get some good stuff so we gave ourselves Eternatus so he gets himself Sobel and attaches to Sobel so let's just Touch the weakness guard energy. Let's just use dread end and we get ourselves one more prize card. So let's see, let's see what he's gonna do. Attaches to Snom once again. 
I'm gonna Marnius. Okay. So let's see what we grab from the Marni. Okay, we grab also boss's orders. Uh, I was thinking of using boss's order to just eliminate the Driz IO right now because I think that he was gonna grab Inteleon. And let's see what he does. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? He didn't have Frost Mod to attach to. Attach to. What is this called? Inteleon or Sobol. So he was not able to set himself up. So I'm just gonna Marnie him. Let's just cap Subat and just mark me and put down all the necessary resources below because I thought I saw that he grabbed himself Koga and he was gonna stall us so I'm just gonna use Trident and eliminate Snom and with that I grab myself scroll back from the price card so I can use the drastic draw ability the next time around and he puts Desile in the active position and he uses Crushing Hammer. So he's getting tails for the last, past couple of turns. So he's gonna grab himself Inteleon with the Evo Incense. Okay, okay. And. Um, Let's see how he does. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see how he does. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? He's gonna use Aqua Bullet, attack and attack to probably one of my Eternatus or Zigzagoon to grab himself a prize card, and he grabs himself Kroka and Evo Incense, so he uses Koga. To confuse and poison us so I'm just I have switch in my hand so I can just switch and attack him so as I thought what he was gonna do he's attacks my turn test and and I use drastic draw to draw three more cards and I go into a Tenet as VMAX and just use Dread End. I didn't need to do that, but I was just adding salt to the wound. I could have just eliminated him easily using Dread End. And with just like that, I eliminate him in the Dread End. And I grab myself with three. So. Let's go into the third match. And for the third match, I chose my Mad Party deck. And Cruz is calling the coin flip. And I win the coin flip. So I was thinking of going first in the third match. And I have got decent enough cards. I've got Bunnel B. Two Bunnel B. Giovanni's Exile. Great Ball. Level Ball great catcher so I'm in a decent enough position and let's just put down the bunnel B and put down the Mew because I know that he is still using the Inteleon deck so I was thinking it was better to use Mew and I put down the Oringaru and I prime it with them or with the Giovanni's exile so I grab myself energy for the next turn. So it's a decent enough start. And he has got EV in the active position. So his heads, his hammers are not hitting. He's getting tails on, on each of his hammers. So it's really a little tough situation for him. As I mentioned before he was gonna go into Vaporeon GX and use Vaporeon GX and 
I'm going to just prime it with gem and attach to bundle B and just going to research. So with that, I grab myself Sinisty. Um, I don't have anything in my discard pile. So mad party attack is not going to do any damage. So just like that, it's okay. We can discard the next time around and do damage. Our bench is full of single price Pokemon. So I was thinking of just keeping Giovanni's exile, but that was really bad part on my play. Lapras and Sobble he grabs from using using the card and he puts down both Sobble and Lapras. So let's see what he passes over the turn. So I got Sinistee. So I'm just gonna prime it a wisdom away the energy. Throw away the Killerian Mr. Rhyme, grab myself dead NA, and just gonna tea break. So, thought of just attacking the Snob so that he can't use Frostmoth's ability, which actually attaches to the bench Pokemon, the water energy in the hand. Icicle Dance ability. I have created a deck with using Frost Moth for Kindra as well as as well as I created deck for two of I think I have created two decks with water type. Yes, I have created Baylord V deck and I have created a Kindra deck that you can try it out for yourself. So I'm just gonna use tree break. And gonna eliminate most of my resources. So I'm just gonna use mad party attack and do 60 damage. So with that I grab myself level ball. Uh, my bench is already full with single price Pokemon, so I don't need Giovanni's exile. And he grabs himself water energy and he attaches to the Lapras. So he uses Hydro Pump. So I'm just gonna promote Sinisty. Uh, use a level ball to grab myself Dead NA. So that I can discard the Dead NA. And just gonna attach and use Bruno because it's better to put down all the resources back into our deck. So with that I grab myself Sinisty. I'm gonna throw out the Banal B. And with that I don't have any dead in a so this is grab Sinisty. If other one got snucked out, let's just prime it wisdom away the energy and quick ball. So, not any good resources that we require. So, I'm just gonna use mad party attack and 120 damage. And just like that, I'm on a roll and gonna eliminate his most of his resources. So he uses hydration ability on himself and is he gonna do attack? He heals himself 60 more. So he uses hydro pump that is 130 damage. So not a bad play on our opponent. So I'm just gonna promote Sinisty and just gonna prime it wisdom away the energy. Just gonna reel in shuffle of my deck, grab myself 
a poltergeist and just gonna detain it away the hand so with that and I'm gonna use the great ball to grab myself Mr. Rhyme so I'm just gonna use professor's research to discard all these resources and I'm in a good position with that no need to use level ball and just gonna use mad party attack to deal 180 damage and eliminate his Vaporeon so boss's orders and Lapras in the bench. So let's see what Cruz does. We are in a good enough position. So he's gonna Marni us, and with that, we have grab ourselves Pell Pad and Energy. So we are in a decent spot. From here, we cannot lose actually. So let's see, let's see. He's gonna evolve into Drizzile. What's he gonna grab from using the Shady Dealings ability? Because with Shady Dealings ability, you can grab one supporter from your deck. And let's see what he's gonna do. What you gonna do? He's gonna use EO and Cells to evolve into Lapras T Max, I suppose. Okay. Nice part play on our opponent's part cruise and uh, he grabs himself Tapas V Max so this is attached to Bunnel B let's just prime it wisdom put down this energy use professor's research quick ball away so we don't have anything use up all these resources because we don't have any any other pokemon on prizes in our deck so with that we deal 200 damage so we can two shot him if he gets lapras in the active position or he tries to stall us we can attach the, the balloon and move from the active to the bench spot easily so we are in a good position and, and just like that I think putting the sinistry and he's gonna use mad party attack and gonna two shot him let's see so he's gonna retreat oh he uses hop okay so my best bet was to grab myself the boss's orders to just eliminate him so he's gonna switch into Sobble. And uh, I got electromagnetic radia radar and just gonna throw away Giovanni's exile and the energy and electromagnetic radar actually grabs. So I'm just gonna pr prime it wisdom away these and grab myself bosses orders and i'm just gonna use mad party so i was thinking if i need to shuffle my deck so that's why i did that and just like that we get i get the victory against two so it was a good play so please like and subscribe and and do post the comments down below and i would love to hear from you guys thank you for watching